you did. Yeah, he's yeah. like, what, you're such a crap swimmer. I bet that thing on your head doesn't help. And, and, I, was like, I, was like, well, and I was like, well, actually, to be honest, mate, I'm such a crap swimmer. It doesn't make a difference either. I, was like, I said to him, you know, I'm just a bad swimmer, stars. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Welcome to this month's episode of The Strong Pod. Our guest this month is former member and SAS Who Dares Wings contestant, Pav. Okay, welcome to the third episode of The Strong Pod. Um, today we've got Pav with us. Pav is a former member of uh, our gym, Champion Strength and Conditioning. He was also um, a, mem- a, a client of Faze before he moved his work. Um, but you may recognise him uh, from SAS Who Dares Wins. So, um, Pav has kindly come to speak to us today. Um, for me, this is a different kind of strength kind of chat because I've always, I've always thought of you as quite a strong-willed sort of person. So that for me is is quite a, an interesting dynamic. So I thought we'd uh, talk a bit more about that. Yeah, definitely. I think that you, um, yeah, you come across it's more mental strength and a lot of the things that you do, the challenges. I think that you you, you put yourself through that we've known about, like since we've known you, yeah, yeah. are all very much it's it's mind over matter kind of stuff. Um, but where did that kind of start? Where did it come from? Were you like that as a child? Were you always running off and doing crazy things and like your parents worrying about you? Or, or did it, was it something that developed no, I, later I in wish, life? I wish I was, but you know, actually I wasn't. I was just like a normal kid. Uh, I did martial arts as a teenager. Mm-hmm. Um, that explains your Bruce Lee uh, fetish, does it? <laughs> <laughs> when we first met, all your, all your uh, social media's got like Bruce Lee yeah, stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, he's been an inspiration, like, when, yeah. as I've been growing up. Still remains so. Um, but yeah, I was just like, you know, did Taekwondo as a kid. Um, just quite standard run of the mill, you going to school. Mm. Nothing too extreme. Um, probably because, you know, it wasn't like the in thing to do. Right. Was, you know, you just be a good kid, you go to school, you have your little extracurricular activity mm. on the side, you know. We have very different childhoods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that was, you know, and then being, be a good boy and go to university and Definitely. blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> um, so not really, and you know, I, I dare say Where I was... Grow up? South. Oh okay. Yeah, good old Sal. Yeah, you know. Um, but I was, um, I was the good kid in school. I was like, you know, the, the you know, the, you know, the most like top of the class yeah, kind of kid, you know. And uh, at teacher's pet, well, I would say teacher's pet, but I was the good boy, you know. I used to get in trouble sometimes, you know, but nothing like major. Um, so, no, nah, there wasn't any any like kind of, frankly, you know, too much trouble in my youth. So when do you think it turned around? Like when, when <laughs> were you, <laughs> not that you're, not <laughs> no, not that, you know what I mean? When, when did you, you when, yeah, <laughs> when did it all go wrong? So when, when do you think that you, the spark, yeah, the spark yeah. came to go, right, you know what, I really want to challenge myself and do different things. Was that something particular that happened in your life or was it just something that developed and, Good point, yeah. impression. I, I had it always, like even as a, like as a youngster doing martial arts, because when you're doing it, I was always looking at people like Bruce Lee and like, even watching like certain cartoons and you just you kind of relate to certain characters mm. and certain stories. I'm a Simpson. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Actually it was it was Dragon Ball Z. Okay. What's that? You know, it was who? Dragon Ball Z, that's a really good I've not um, seen Japanese, that one. Japanese, Japanese old oh, one. Okay. They were all about these warriors who would just like never give up and yeah. even when they died they'd find a way to come back. So they'd keep <laughs> training to keep fighting, yeah. So that yeah. resonated to me. Um, and then just growing up, I just wanted to just, I think also had from, from the Sikh faith, my culture, my heritage is all mm. about the, the, the warrior spirit, you know, yeah, the, yeah. that was in the back of my head. And I was asking questions like, well, you know, we tell the stories of them, but what are we doing nowadays? Yeah, 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 you know, that yeah. was always in the back yeah, of my head. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, then I went, I started lifting um, when I started uni because, you know, just practically I couldn't go to my martial arts anymore because of the timing of uni. Yeah. And I wanted to get big. It was literally just because I, I think my mum, my sister used to say I was like a bit skinny and scrawny. Right. And, you know, I just felt a bit inadequate. So yeah, I was yeah. like, you know, right, I'm going to start benching now. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and literally I was proper, I had no knowledge whatsoever. I just went there, let's do some bench press. And then that journey begins where you start start teaching yourself and you want to you read stuff, you learn yeah, stuff. Yeah. Um, but that was quite standard as well. Just like go to the gym, you know, yeah. nothing special there. Um, and what happened was, 
I think it was, I've always been into the military special forces kind of, you know, been fascinated by them, yeah, you know, yeah. all that. Um, and then again with like my, my culture as well, it's always been a, a fascinating uh, thing for me. And I guess when the Who Dares Wins first came on to the TV screens on the first series, it was like, wow, this is their world. And you can see what they yeah. do. These people finally come out into the open, yeah. yeah? And then obviously watching that, being a big fan of it, and you kind of, you know, I was always go a bit deeper and try to find out about people. So I'm looking at what do these people actually do? What's their training like? Mm -hmm. Oh, they go out and they have a the fan dance, the Brecon Beacons, they, the selection is held in the hills and they've got to carry, you know, 60 pounds or 40 miles mm -hmm. in 12 hours, something ridiculous like that. And I was sitting there one day at work and uh, on Facebook, an advert came up um, for this. It had a little soldier on it, a muddy soldier on it, and he had it had 54 miles, 24 hours. Are you tough enough? Yeah. Mm. So I clicked on it, and it took me to this event called the Cataran Yomp. That's the one you did. Yeah. That's here, isn't it? Yeah. So that was that was just say it was a charity event for the soldiers' charity, which is the military's army char yeah. charity, and it was like you just got to walk this 54 mile course in 24 hours. Sounds easy, right? And I was like, <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, this is just a walk. Yeah. So I'm fit, I go to the gym, you know, yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll train a bit in Slough, I'll walk around. I'll walk around. I'll walk around. I mean, it's a bit like being in a war zone, isn't it? In fact, <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. You know, and that was it. So I, I decided to do that um, against my mother's wishes in a way, you know, that she was yeah. like, oh, you're going to do that, but you can't, do, you know, you're going to be out there for 20, what are you going to eat? What are you going to do? What are you going to sleep? You know, you know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> you know, with your mum following you, some sandwiches, you know, yeah, yeah. you, know, you yeah. got to wait. She'll finish it before you do, because she's yeah. waiting. <laughs> but that was the first, that was the first foray into this kind of yeah. madness um, in 2016, yeah. not too long ago. Cause you yeah, really that was when you were here still, wasn't it? That you started, or just after you left? So when I was were, here last yeah. year, that was my third attempt. Oh, okay. So yeah. 2019 yeah, was yeah. my third attempt at the yeah. at the yomp. Okay. Yeah. So the first time I know that you spoke, we spoke about it before. Um, was it the first time that it, the weather turned really bad and then you weren't able to? You had to stop. Didn't you had to you? stop. Yeah. The, 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 yeah. the first time I was. So very, your mum was right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I told you. you. No, actually, the first time after like 12 hours, I was like cursing and thinking I should have listened to my mum. I should listen to my mum. I was in the, I, there's a place you go to get to admit stuff. I know, like that, especially to you. <laughs> You've just done it on yeah, camera as well. Right. You get grumpy. I got very grumpy. But the thing is, I was so adequately ill. I was inadequately prepared. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, the most I'd walked was like eight miles on a treadmill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And when the just hills just hit exactly you, the, the hills up and down, the, yeah. the rain and what even the, foot, the loose foot in and stuff. Can your feet, your ankles, your fine. toes, you, you things feel it that you don't know you, you, you've ever used before. Um, and I cramped up after 22 miles. I could literally have never felt it. Or every muscle in my leg. I was rooted mm -hmm. to the spot. And I was like, people were like, are you okay? I was like, yeah, I think so. And I had to, I waddled to the toilet <laughs> and, and I had a piss and then I came out and then I was, they were like, are you sure you want to carry on? I was like, well, this was not my plan, you know? I had yeah, to get the gold, this, the 54 yeah. miles. And here I'm at the bronze stage. Yeah. Can't not carry on. We've got time left. The day is young. Let's just go for it. Yeah. You know? And then the two of my friends have walked up and that was the most painful seven and a half hours because <laughs> I was so I was mashed up and yeah. then I got to the point where I was on my own in the dark because I, I told my team to move on because I, I was holding them back um, and then I got lost at 1 a.m. on the Scottish hills and it was it was like something out of the Hunger Games because yeah. they, they had a cannon somewhere further up on the course because yeah. they have little bits of entertainment to keep yeah. people motivated and have like a dragon as well mm -hmm. like a makeshift dragon yeah. that breathes fire so i was on the hill on my own in the dark and light was just my head torch yeah. illuminating a disc of, of ground above yeah, in front of me yeah. pitch black so silence. you could have been anywhere absolute just silence off the edge of a and every and occasionally you'd hear this massive boom in the back yeah like when someone dies in hunger games the boom goes yeah. Like, yeah. it was like that and then there was like a uh, there's like a glow in the distance with yeah, the yeah. fiery dragon, dragon was, yeah. and then it all silence again. It was yeah. really nice, actually. Yeah, it was very yeah, peaceful. Yeah. But yeah, essentially that one I got to like 36 miles off at like 2.30 a.m. and that was past the cutoff point. Yeah. That was the worst state I've ever been yeah, in my life. Yeah. I couldn't walk for like two weeks afterwards. <laughs> I had night sweats and Sounds like a squat nightmares. <laughs> nightmares for about a week really it's wake up in the middle of the night sweating thinking i'm still on the hill somewhere yeah yeah and that's what it did to me. <laughs> and then you after after all of that you decided you know what i'm going to do that again yeah yeah you, you, you applied for sas the year before didn't yeah, you yeah yeah so series saying, four i applied for yeah, yeah. 
Uh, what was that? Yeah, so I applied for it. I went to the fitness test, passed that. Then you have to do a interview with the production team. Right. And yeah. that was, they were really busy at that day. So they said to some of you, you can go home, they will Skype you. So I did it over Skype the day after. Mm -hmm. And that's it. So they obviously they, they pick, they want certain characters, yeah, don't yeah. they? You know? <laughs> so I didn't get any further than that stage right. there. But I thought, you know, I'll try again. Yeah, next yeah, year. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah never, never so done. Yeah. So then you tried again next year and you, you got in. And what did. Uh, I know that from everyone, anyone that may have been following your Instagram or whatever, you had to learn to swim, didn't you? Oh God! In order yeah. to get. What were you wearing in the pool? Was that like one of those surfing which neoprene pants? Oh, in the practice when, pool. When you were put, yeah, I saw yeah, a picture that, of you like swimming backwards. <laughs> What's that? That's like um, it's just a it's <coughs> actually a neoprene cap. Yeah, it has a little thing on there. So yeah, it. yeah, yeah. It's used for like outdoor swimmers. The, yeah. It's meant to keep your head warm. Right. But it's like the only thing I could find that would kind of secure across Got my right, head. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Just use that apparently on internet somewhere yeah because yeah. <laughs> i saw just going on that when you uh just leaping forward a little bit one of the it was the shooting you know when you had the rifles and you had to um advance on that thing yeah and they pulled your thing off your head yeah it took it took your headdress off didn't yeah, it? yeah 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 that's really <laughs> interesting actually no so that is that why you had a hat on afterwards you just had a normal hat no on no so hat. what happened there was so that wasn't my swimming hat obviously yeah, 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 yeah. so what i would i i went on there with my turban on yeah day one was a turban and got bits of day two um, but what it was like, on, <laughs> no, what happens actually, because it was very erratic, you never knew. Yeah, so actually, yeah. I remember day you one, we went there and we were like, we were just jumping to the sea, yeah. the first event, and I had my turban on, and it was yeah. fine actually. And I came out actually, and then ants, you know, ants trying to dig at people. Yeah, that was yeah, the last yeah. one because I came out of the water finally, because um, yeah. the, the, the emergency boat had to pick me up. Right. Yeah, because I was just like floundering in the sea, literally yeah, in the middle of yeah. no other state there were days. Yeah, like. yeah. Was that the one we had to jump off the yeah, thing and backwards into? No, no, before oh. that. Oh, when they arrived, it was that one. The, when yeah, they arrived. Get out of the boat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they made them yeah. swim to yeah. shore. They took us in the yeah. early morning at 3, 4 a.m. And we, it was really nice because we were on the sea in the boats as the sun was rising. Yeah. And a pod of dolphins came along. Oh, really? So, yeah, yeah. Oh. That was really quite Isn't nice. Isn't it weird being in that environment? So let's, for instance, you were on SAS, like, selection, and then just randomly some dolphins. Yeah, right. something so beautiful it's in the midst of yeah, something so yeah. it's crazy. It kind of puts it into perspective. Mm. And even in the hills, when you're out in the hills, it's horrendous, but you look at the beauty of nature yeah, in the hills, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Quite, it's like good for your mind. Yeah, mm. where, that, um, where the task was when you're up to, with the rifles, when you're up to advance on that thing, yeah. I was looking in the background and stuff, and it looked really nice. It did. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, but coming back to that, so what happened was, um, you know, I would wear my turban, and, um, and then Anton, I came out of the thing, he was like, he wanted to poke me on you. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. like, what, you're such a crap swimmer, I bet that thing on your head doesn't help. And, and, I, was like, I, was like, well, and I was like, well, actually, to be honest, mate, I'm such a crap swimmer, it doesn't make a difference either. Way. I, said him, I said to him, you know, I'm just a bad swimmer, stuff, you know. <laughs> um, but then as the day goes, I kept it on, and we had to do that backward dive, yeah. and yeah. I, you know, it was on for that, it stayed on. But then when you're in base, you're kind of like, you don't know what's going to happen. Mm. And so many times they say, right, out there in five minutes with your helmets. Yeah, you yeah. kind of know, well, there's no point because I don't have yeah, my helmet on. Yeah. So when that happened on the shooting cast, I was what I had was my just like a bandana yeah. cover. On. Right. Okay. Yeah. And um, yeah, you know, it's not, it's not, it's secure. But if someone does that, it's not. Sure. Yeah. But they're really good. But like, you know, I knew that could eventually it's happen. Gonna happen. It's yeah, gonna happen. Yeah. You're at essentially yeah. you're at war. Yeah. And you know, Sikhs have been at war, and if your head covering comes off, you're gonna get the job done. Before yeah. You yeah. Worry yeah. about that. Yeah. So I, I did my thing, and I, I didn't shoot him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're really good because obviously Billy knew and he he gave it to Ant. Then we're walking down the hill with Ant. He's debriefing. He's saying he wanted to know why I made the decision not to shoot. Mm. So because it wasn't just like a freezing moment. So I said, yeah, well, yeah, look, yeah. the guy wasn't pointing the gun at me. Yeah, he, he wasn't aggressive. You know, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, okay, oh yeah, here's your headdress as well, mate. You know. Mm. So then they, they 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 look after you. So yeah, they got respect yeah. for they're that. They're human, yeah, aren't they? Exactly. I think um, I think they tend to be like so. Again, going on what I said before about your personality, you're very driven. You, I think you're a very special type of person in the respect that you're very focused on your task, you're very driven, and you mm. said about being at school and stuff. And that's very much what the SAS guys are like. I've got Ant Middleton's book, which I, I read on the flights when we go away. Yeah. And that's what I get from that, is that he was kind of a bit of a lost soul until he found a direction to, yeah, put, yeah. to put all of that energy into um, you know, for yourself, you, there's different things, whatever you put your mind to, you can focus. But sometimes other people, they don't have that. They have to be given a direction to put it. But they seem a very similar, um, like a similar energy as yourself. I think you need, yeah, I mean, them guys, 
what I'm from reading his books as well, yeah. and like just like you know researching and reading about them all the time, and then seeing them, they're the kind of guys, and I think this comes out in their books and the stuff they talk about, and they're the kind of guys who have every point in their life, they've obviously, and you know from his book, yeah. he had times when he made the wrong decision. Yeah, 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 I, was, yeah. I was reading his book as a big fan of his, the first one. I was like, mate, this guy's a train wreck. Yeah. But then he pulled it together. Yeah, and he's, yeah, and he's course, the, yeah. you know. But most, if you look at it, if you average it all out, when they've had a decision to make easy road or hard road, yeah. take the hard road. Yeah. And you keep doing that at every junction in your life yeah, from a young yeah. age or whatever it is, whenever you start, you start in your 40s or your 50s mm. if you don't want to. But that then takes you somewhere. Yeah. That builds you up. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Makes you who you are. That's so. literally the, the journey of a hero, I'd say. And them guys kind of, if you study them and what they've done, they've done that you know they didn't have the, the you know they had tough times themselves yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. but and i think that's the message that you can take from it for everyone else mm. like even the average joke and yeah, yeah. You, know, you just take the hard road that's mm. going to be a little bit uncomfortable yeah but it's going to make you grow yeah absolutely yeah. yeah what do you think on the so on, on who dares wins all of it looked tough i mean <laughs> none of it looked very pleasant and it all just <laughs> I think being submerged in water that much was just crazy. But what do you think it was the hardest part of it? Like, was there any particular bit you just think, and not not necessarily the bit like where like you went out or anything like that, but when um, what what was the hardest? There were. I'll give you two. Well, there was the, in terms of tasks. Mm -hmm. I think the hardest task was probably the log carry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looked awkward. Because yeah. what actually happened was we we carried the log, and for some distance. Then we hit that mountain top. Mm. We had to go up that, and the winds were the, the, the rain was sideways. The wind was it was gusty. They took you off the mountain, didn't they? I don't, no, they, didn't. they didn't. No. I didn't. Know <laughs> yeah, so, so they said that. I was, I'm watching the show. I'm like, oh, hold on, <laughs> that <a> didn't happen. <laughs> you didn't take us off the mountain because of safety reasons, you know. So, <laughs> <laughs> we went oh, up, they so just left you up there. It was okay at the start. It was just a bit blustery and all that. Yeah, yeah we got to the mountain, and the wind really started. Yeah. Gale force winds and proper rain, and we're climbing up really steep paths on the edge and the wind's blowing you over and we're like holding on to this log and we get to the top and they're like right you've got your this rv right your next checkpoint is down there in the valley whatever mm -hmm. yeah um and that was it we carried on so we took it down to this valley and there was a lake in the valley right and we're like okay maybe we'll stop now and we line up right into the lake mm -hmm. with the log so we walked in this freezing cold lake right. up waters up to about your waist level and then they're making us drowned, yeah. <laughs> they make us doing presses with it like yeah. you hold it up one shoulder left shoulder right shoulder and then it's like we come out um, and then we put it down and we thought maybe it's finished now I know then we had to get all our bags and then run back to the start <laughs> with our teams yeah the very start which we finally did yeah. um, then we got to the, the the car park where the, the jeeps were waiting for us we thought finally it's over they're like, right, because right, we had kind of split up a bit. Right, we, you to, we told you to come in your teams. Uh, you, you disobeyed orders now, you're going to die. You know, this is this could yeah. lead to people dying. Get back out there. So we had yeah. to go, go get, get your logs again, they said. We had to run back. <laughs> yeah. And that's when people started, like, you know, flagging. Yeah, yeah. We had to run back, and we got halfway there, and then Ant is like, oh, okay, we changed the plan. Now we're calling in fast air support. It's like the yeah, scenario, yeah. yeah. Get back to the thing. Now we have to go back again. Yeah. And that was where that was where I almost passed out. I remember yeah. I was the most well, delirious. One of the girls did, didn't she? Was it that one? One of the girls uh, moved back down the hill. She not on that one, I think. Actually, really the girls were. Fighting. Oh yeah, no, that was afterwards. Uh, that was afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> but the two guys, like Jerome, the big guy. Yeah. Jerome, poor guy, passed. It was, that was. I saw that prior yeah, to yeah. that. We had, yeah, yeah. We, we he had was like walking. He was a zombie, wasn't he? Yeah. Just yeah. plodding. Yeah. But you imagine the calorific requirements yeah, of that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was he was solid, but we had hardly we had like a, a spoon of porridge that morning, mm. and the night before, I had a couple of apples, mm. and everyone had we had there was like a stag that we'd cooked as well. Right. They brought us a stag and like nice. yeah, which is actually I helped out. I'm mm. veggie, which is my choice. That's right, fine. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But we cut up the meat for everyone. Okay. You know, and I was doing my dissecting skills. Yeah. They took the head away from oh. us. Oh, that's a shame. You could have fun with that, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah. That was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So for anyone that doesn't know, like Pav's actual job is um, he's oh, yeah. a ophthalmologist. Yeah, he's an yeah. ophthalmologist. Yeah. That's <laughs> eyes. Eyes. Eye yeah. surgeon. <laughs> but that was, I say, probably the hardest task. But there were, everything else was difficult. But the, in terms of like, the day-to-day -day stuff, it was the the constant cold, mm. the lack of sleep. Yeah, you know what that, they did that to really us? Even, does, even when there was a night when they weren't going to beast us by yeah. waking up us at one a.m. and you know destroying us for an hour on the parade square. 
they had put this system in where we had to do a night watch. Oh, okay. So they had, we had to buddy up <coughs> so still broke an hour sleep. or two hours of going up on this godforsaken tower mm. and just standing there and like, oh, car went on, write it down. <laughs> oh, there's, oh there's, a, there's a person walking, okay, write it down. In the wind and the cold. Yeah. And then you'd come back and you'd get a few hours. And then, but every time people were moving, if you're a light sleeper, yeah, everybody's like, yeah, you yeah. Just, it would just completely mess yeah. you up, you know? Yeah. And the nature of being where you're like what you're doing, you're going to be light sleeping and yeah. just expecting the door to come in, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gas, gas can be chucked in now. You'd wake up, I'd, sometimes I'd be off duty and the recruits would come for a changeover, yeah. but the, the boots and all yeah. that, I'd be like, oh God, it's the DS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, you'd be, and you'd dream about stuff and then you'd wake up and you, you wonder if that dream was real. Oh, and yeah. it's like, did the DS just come? Do we have to go? What's the time? Like, <laughs> I suppose everything's all surreal. Yeah. So yeah. you're not quite sure what's going on. Not, yeah, it was just insane. So now it's all over and you finish that. Um, how do you kind of, do you, do you feel like, right, ready for the next challenge? Or are you having a bit of time off before doing it, embarking on anything nah, else crazy? I'm ready for the next challenge. Anything in the pipelines? No, well, it, what, it, what it did was, um, when I came out, I was physically destroyed, you know? Yeah. Um, so I had to recover a wee bit, like maybe a week or two. And I yeah. slowly got back in the gym. I was going to stop doing that. Um, it's psychologically more. Yeah. So, like, when I came out, it was a shock to me coming out of that. Because I was, at that point, I thought I was doing pretty good. You know? Yeah. So, like, and the thing is, like, when you're on the, you don't have to be a DS or someone. I, I do think there is value in being a recruit because mm. you are on the ground doing the stuff yeah, yeah you know where you are comparing with your peers comparing with your peers mm -hmm. yeah where you are in the in the peer group yeah yeah so when you're like almost in the top half or every time yeah you're wondering what has happened here yeah mm. so there was those emotions of you know i was thinking oh god i'm i'm not good enough i'm a failure that kind of stuff i had to deal with and process and dealing with an unknown yeah because i'm quite like you know, it's not good or bad. I'm just a logical, analytical person by yeah, my nature. Yeah. I need to have answers for things, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, yeah, I, don't have do this. I know this why? because why? I used yeah. to coach Pav, and then it was always, so why are we doing this? What's this for? Yeah. Oh, right. And, but it, was, it wasn't in a bad way, but it was very analytical yeah. of like why we were doing You wanted to know why we're doing that and why we're doing that in that particular way and yeah. stuff. So, so I'm trying to figure out yeah. what could have led to my departure, yeah. But I wasn't getting any, like, maybe it was because of that, because of that. And I thought maybe it was because of. I'm not a good swimmer, so it could have been the remaining people good swimmers. So I kind of placated myself with that for two months. Mm -hmm. And then when it comes out on the show, I'm like... They put it a different way. It comes they didn't have to edit yeah. it the way they edited, edited it. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah. like I was saying, though, you know, they showed... Like, if you show someone squatting, you show the first rep, second rep, and you show, like, rep number 15. Yeah, yeah. When they've done an amazing set, and they've died on rep 14, and the spotters have had to come in. Yeah. But you've edited it just to show that moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you don't have to do that, yeah. and actually the production team call us and they ask us, "Oh, how are you? Did you find that okay?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, "I said that to them." Yeah, yeah. And like, oh well, we only show what happened. I'm like, well, of it's course you, happened. of yeah. course you show what happened, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's how you show it. You can't yeah. show what didn't happen. You can't yeah. create a reality. I'm yeah. um, so, I mean, yeah, psychologically for me, separating the TV aspect to what I gained what from you went it through as well, was more important. Yeah. Yeah. And what I got coming out of it, on I remember this day one after coming out of it. You come back into the normal world and it's like, well, you know, what I thought were problems are really yeah, not yeah, problems. Yeah. <laughs> and you get a sense of self-reliance. I've got yeah. a lot of self-reliance mm. to the point. Now, there's a guy I follow called David Goggins. And he was once asked, what's happiness? And he said, he said, happiness for me is knowing that I can deal with what's on the other side of the door. Yeah. And they, they you know, when they go and do their Navy SEAL stuff when yeah, they're like, yeah, yeah taking down terrorists and they kick down doors yeah, and there could yeah, be a yeah. bomb behind it, it could be anything. Yeah. Yeah. He meant that like the metaphor of life. Yeah. yeah. So I, I truly believe that I've got that from this experience. I was looking for that. Yeah. And I've kind of they put us through, through so much horrific stuff yeah. on there. It gives you a different it, it gives you perspective. You're like, you know what? Yeah. You may be put into a situation where you have no idea how you're gonna get through it. Yeah. And that was pretty much my sentiment every time we went to do something. It was like, how, how yeah, am I going to yeah. do this? You know, <laughs> how am I going to jump down there? You know, but you find a way through it. Yeah. And then that mentality kind of seeps into you. And you're like, well, actually, you know what? I don't know how I'm going to do this, but like, I'll find a way. Yeah. Mm. And that's a, something really, yeah, I'm very yeah. happy to have got yeah. that. Yeah. I find that. I, I have this like, this thing where you think about, the, oh, when you have a problem, you think, oh, this is shit. How am I going to deal with it? Look back a year ago. What was your problem then? Because you had a problem a year ago. And you think, that's not even an issue anymore. 
you think I've gone, I've, I've come through at the other side. So you know you can work through stuff like that. I suppose that put, forces you into it, being on the SAS stuff, forces you into those scenarios, and you have to react to to the situations. Mm. But you know, once it's done and dusted, you've come through it. it you know, you're a bit bumped and bruised. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's up to you. Like even like I think powerlifting is so. That's why I always talk about it as a. You know, I say that. Or I don't say I read it somewhere, but strength is the foundation of all virtues. Yeah, and it's true. Like on a physical level, but on a moral level as well, mm. you can you can gain so much from it because like you're putting yourself through suffering. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? When you're gonna when you want to hit a target, like when you used to you know when you give us a, a target to hit mm. on a training program, whatever, yeah. you got to hit the number, and you're like putting that stress and that pressure on yourself. Yeah, you don't have to do it. Why? You, yeah. Why do you have to do it? But yeah, there's we, nothing. Yeah, if you don't do yeah. it, nothing's gonna change your well, life. But you make wanna, a conscious yeah. decision yeah. to do it. Yeah. yeah. And that mentality, if you go deep into your own self about why you have that mentality, you can learn a lot of interesting yeah. stuff about yourself yeah. and use that throughout your life. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, definitely. So that's, yeah. Oh, well, thank you very much for coming <laughs> along, Pab. And we're really like, you know, it's really interesting to hear about the SAS stuff and all of that. Um, and we will be back next month, won't we? Yeah.